Hello YouTubers, it's Travis. Welcome back to the channel. We're happy to have you here. Uh, today I have a draft for you. It's a color combination I don't draft very often, and I don't think I've actually done a video uh, that had this color combination in it yet. Uh, but for a, a, a underutilized color combination for me, this is a pretty sweet version of it. Uh, so I think that you'll like that. If you enjoy the content that you're seeing here on the channel, please do consider subscribing. That'll give you an alert when there's new videos, as well as help me get closer to that uh, 1,000 subscriber mark, which is kind of a big deal for YouTubers. And if you super like what I'm doing, uh, you can check below for a link to my Patreon, where you can directly support the content and get some cool rewards. Uh, but with all that, let's enjoy the video. And uh, I was doing good till then, right? And these intros are hard to do. Huzzah, we draft. A kind of busted rare in the dual lands. I don't know why they print dual lands at rare. Does it break standard if you can get those at uncommon? Like that cycle of dual lands. Uh, but this pack basically goes down to Fierce Retribution versus Wolf Strike. And I think Fierce Retribution is just a better removal spell. So I think I'm going to take that. I don't want the Raconteur. Retrieve goes in a very specific deck, which is blue-green. And I could take the Wolf Strike and plan to wield that. Uh, but Retribution is just nice and splashable and easy, easy to use. Let's give that a go. Well, now we have some regret. Not a lot of regret. Because we could take another Fierce Retribution or we could take one of the green cards. There's some world where we could get away with taking the Bramble Worm and wheeling the spider. I don't know that that's terribly likely, but I would argue that the Bramble Worm is a fine card on its own in green decks. Rending Flame is a fine card on its own too. And two people didn't want it, so we might just be red. I can play red. I like red. How much to think about there. So there's a crawling uh, infestation here, which is interesting because, like, I, I think there's a a blue red, excuse me, a green blue deck coming by. Sorry, I got thrown off a little bit there. With I think Bramble is worth splashing for. I do not. Uh, mostly because if you're splashing, you're probably playing green to enable the splash. But like, maybe, maybe it can come up. Let's keep the focus here, though. I, I think there's a blue-green deck coming by. But I also think I'm just more interested in the red right now with what we're getting past. I'm getting decent removal here. So I could see a world where you splash this, sure. But I'm, I'm not really thinking about splashing just yet. I'm trying to figure out what's open and where we should be going. Because it, it's possible it's still blue-green and that we end up splashing uh, for a Rending Flame or a Fierce Retribution. Because there's some spicy blue cards here, and they're decent. Let, let's take the Toxic Scorpion and plan on being um, maybe green-red, maybe green-blue, and seeing what wheels. I really need to see what wheels uh, to make a determination. Which feels weird that even though I'm thinking we might be green-red, I don't want the Runebound Wolf. I want the Spore Crawler. But I really need to see which of these blue cards wheel. Because if that spider comes back around, then nobody's in blue-green and we can just do it. If it doesn't, like, we're already set up pretty nicely for Naya stuff. There's a pig club here, which is fine. A weary prisoner, which is a little better than I thought it was, but not great. Uh, and an entomer, which is wonderful for blue-green. So I, I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to see what wheels, and that'll really make our determination. I don't think I'm interested in getting into black. I mean, unless I get past something really good. So I, I'm going to take this for the green-red possibility, and now we're going to know what we yield.
This is pick nine, so this is our original pack, and it has a retrieve. So, and I'm going to take it because the next one is the one that should have the spider. If the next one has the spider, we're blue green. If it doesn't, we're green red. We should know our answer here in just a minute. I suppose we could still be green white. I just haven't been past any good white. Spider did not wheel. The spider's just gone. So we're not playing blue. Like, that would be the biggest reason for us to get into blue-green, and it didn't come by, so it's just gone. So at this point, we've got a good collection of green creatures, which we could play. I think this puts us on the Geist, actually. It's like, which Naya pile are we going to go for? It's possible I could end up wanting to ramp to both of these in a green deck. The infestation came back, which is interesting to me. I don't want multiples of these. I guess you can play Piercing Light. I just don't love it. I almost always just throw this in decks, especially if I don't have a lot of graveyard interaction. And this one's probably just going to have the Bramble Worm. So about the green-white... What if we were doing this? Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. We could even, like, realistically, this just means we're playing white. Like, let's let's be an adult here. We could still very easily be white-red. It wouldn't really be a white-red aggro deck, but it doesn't have to be a white-red aggro deck. It's going to play this judge, though. Because that thing's pretty good. I should have spent a little more time there thinking about what I might wheel, and I didn't. Because, like, we were able to determine from one of those packs to get out of blue-green. It's a little late for me to be looking for, for information like that, though. Here we've got, I think, Fleeting Spirit for our pick. Uh, it's a decent two-drop. We don't have a ton of them. It plays nicely in either of these colors, does something late game. And I, I think with the Judge and the Fierce Retribution, we're ready to be like, yo, we're playing white. I'll figure out the other color later. I don't give the Minister enough credit. If I'm not going to pick it here, I'm never going to get to play with one. I also just don't love the Distracting guys. If this is a rare for two mana, it would be absurd, but it isn't. Let's flex a little bit. Try a Minister. I never get to play with that card because I don't pick them highly enough, so let's pick it highly enough to get to play with it. This is a ton of card draw. I, I think it's very much looking like red would be our color pair. Because like, there's some decent red cards here, but this is a ton of card draw for a color that just doesn't usually get it. But all signals are pointing to red, red-white for me. I'm going to kind of assume that's what we're doing. Because, like, the only green card we have that's really any good is the Bramble Worm. Yeah, I don't normally like one mana one ones, but I, I think this one's actually pretty good. We probably want the Waltzer over the Flame Blessed Bolt, eh? Like, I'm saying we don't have to be an aggressive deck, but this certainly doesn't hurt. And I've basically got a second Flame Blessed Bolt here. I'm not really excited to play it, but we can move those out. But I think we figured out what's open. I, I, I don't think I'm going to draft it the same way a lot of people draft red-white. That's all right. Going to have some killer freaking cards in it, though, huh? Good grief. We're getting some good stuff over here, y'all. Could use a couple more threes. 
We've even got the six to play if we want it. I'm not opposed to one six drop. I like it when you can build controlish red white decks, and this format has the pieces for it. We can play a last ray flesh. I'm not too embarrassed with that. About where I'd want to pick it to. Like, it kills some things. What happened to Sigarda's imprisonment being terrible and everyone passing it? There was a while where all of the the, the talking heads were saying Sigarda's imprisonment was awful and you'd get three every draft. And I don't think I've seen one in a week. Did they suddenly realize it was good? And why did they finally change their minds here? It's been good in literally every set ever. Yes, pacifism's not very good in this set. Well said. We could take a rack on tour for curve porpoises. We could also take a celebrant, which I like a good bit. Hey, what's up, Andy? I think I'll go for the uncommon. I could use another four. I'm like, we are a little bit spell heavy currently. This might make it into... I think currently we're looking at something like this. Oh, we even get card draw. That's neat. Super neat. Sideboard Sanctify. I'm digging this one. We want this. I don't think this deck wants that. Whereas in the festivities, we might sideboard in. I do need to get an enchantment or two from somewhere. That Heron Blessed Geist is never coming back. Got two Raconteurs. Don't have to play both of them, but we could. All right, there's our Sigarda's Imprisonment, unless we want to take this and try to splash up. And I don't think we do. It's a really good rare, but we're pretty far off from blue. Like, our, our color pairs are set, and I think we have to trust that we'll get past some rewards for being in them. Normally, I'd say we need more two drops, but I'm kind of looking at Piercing Light and Flame Blessed Bolt as two drops. This is just a relatively easy suitor, I think. We would play in Evolving Wilds. This seems quite good for us. I wouldn't mind more than one enchantment for the Heron Bless Geist, but we don't have to play it. Like, realistically, I'm not excited to play uh, the Piercing Light, the second Raconteur, or the Pie Spawn, but they can make it in. You ever drafted a controlling red-white deck, Andy? Because I think we've kind of got one going here. Controlling from a limited perspective. Huh. So blue was the color we should have been in, is what you're saying, which is interesting. Sadly, not for us. We're just going to pass the game-winning bomb. Let that go. You can be offended, but somebody passed it to me. I am a big fan of heroin, uh, but I think we want to draw Skull Infantry. And then if this is the deck, we can call it. If not, we can start looking for improvements. Don't know that I want this. Finally, Ancestor might be nice. Maybe we take out the Piercing Light and play the Ancestor. 
and that gives us a pretty decent creature count. Now we could take this Lacerate Flesh, which I don't think would be bad. But I think I'm pretty happy with our removal suite currently. I think we've got enough things to trigger these that they're probably worth playing. And I think the best way to actually improve our deck is with this Wilds. Let's just have good mana. Don't particularly want any of these, but I could sort of see siding this in on the play in some matchups. There's another Ridge Wolf. I don't really want another Ridge Wolf. I don't think it's better than any of these. Sure, maybe there's a deck with a bunch of X2s and we want to bring in Piercing Lights. When there's nothing you need, you can take on commons to work on your Vault Progress. It takes a long time for it to add up, but it does over time. Given the fullness of time, you will open a Vault. You want a Flame Breaker or Flame Breather? Because I kind of think I do. I don't know what I want to cut for it. Because I feel like we've got enough card draw that maybe... I could just cut the Lantern. And maybe we do something like this and call it a deck. Like, we'll bring in the Lantern if we need it. Like, it's not a must play. I think I'm pretty happy about this one. What do y'all think? Things we could be playing that we're not are like a second Pyre Spawn, a Raconteur, Rallier. We've, we, and we've got some sideboard decisions to make. We could even conceivably splash a Bramble Worm, which is pretty sweet. And this is about even, right? Yeah, slightly more white, but not really enough to worry about. Those sleeves amuse me. All right, let's go do the thing. I think I'm down with this one. Yeah, once I said Sigarda's imprisonment's terrible, they started passing him to me. So I guess that's what I need to do is just complain about it more often. I mean, even for me, that's an aggressive keep. The problem is when you mulligan on the play, you are so far behind, but I, I don't think I can keep a six lander. That sucks. Okay, I can kind of work with this. This at least has sort of a plan of things to do. A two drop would be nice, because this is basically a three cast spell, but... What you doing? I guess that's Nissa. I'm gonna activate my cat powers. Channel Foo. I mean, I knew the minister was good. I didn't think it was quite this good. Did they keep a no-lander or just disconnect? Like, they're there. Might be. Huh, that's pretty good, John. Can I at least get a follow if that's what you're doing? I 
I think maybe they were discarding to make sure that they got value off of that, which I can definitely respect. If this is red white, I can get behind it. Here. Sure. Bad news for you, buddy. Make sure you remove a counter and don't sacrifice your journal. We might hit another two drop here. Might not. My spirit is floating. No more of you, please. Splitting spirit, showing the quality of their character today.
Didn't even need the full four cards off of this. We're happy with just two. Maybe we'll need to get the full set of cards, we'll see. They're making a lot of blood over there. Might need a bandage. I guess we did need all four cards because they got some big butts. Holding some extra cards to discard to the Fleeting Spirit. The Pyre Spawn is mostly just an abyss. Once you got enough lands in play, just being able to blink this is pretty handy. They might have been better off trading off the catapult at that point, but I don't know what they have in their deck or what in particular they're digging for. They've got some good stuff in here, but I'm not used to seeing the Buttapult in uh, Black Red. Certainly can fit it in there, though. They've got like a butt package. Just don't want to show me any more cards, which is neat. We're going to go back and make sure we saw all of them. So a Skellington, I wonder what that's for. Some people just play that. And like, if they just play it, that's fine. But it's worth thinking about what might they have that would make them want a Persistent Specimen. You know, and there's some pretty common exploit creatures in black that people would play. Like the 5-4 is a very reasonable one. Like it, it's a reason for us maybe to leave something around. Checking. I don't see a ton of things that the lightning bolt would hit. Like a belligerent guest at least, but not much else. They at least think that that's weird. I haven't, I'm not used to blood hypnotists in the same deck as like Gluttonous guess. But as it stands, I don't feel like I want to change much. We think a lantern does anything. It at least interacts with the skeleton. If I have anything that I think is bad, we could consider a lantern. I don't feel like I have anything that looks bad. Yeah, I'm just going to run this back. I need a little more information before we decide. All right, wouldn't mind hitting a land or two. The three. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Do I want the suitor so that it can attack next turn or just to get this go? I think I just want to get this going. I don't need to win quickly.
I just need to win. Been pretty happy with the minister. Like, it did give us a, a life total that was pretty significant. So I may have been too harsh on that card in the past. So our main challenge here is to stay alive long enough to flash that by. And then we kind of just win the game, right? So I'm pretty good with that. If I activate here and send, I could cast this afterwards. But I may just need to be on blocking duty for a bit because that thing's gonna hurt. So let's just let's just stay alive here. Like, they can throw me at it now, so that's five damage we're going to have to deal with. But at least it's not five damage over and over and over. Having a rough day, Rach? What got gotcha? you? I probably should have just double blocked that hit with this last turn. That's a lot of damage. Okay, there's some good news, I suppose. Because I could do this and hit with the heroin to try to bait them into attacking again. Well, they're going to attack me again next turn anyway. That's not really the problem. The issue is I need to get rid of this. It's a lot of stuff that I need to deal with now. Maybe my best bet is just trying to nab something on the attacks. Because again, we'll eventually win this game if we just stay alive long enough. Imagine they go for each creature sacrifice or each player sacrifices a creature here, which would make sense. And we can just toss the no, they want a card. Okay.
I feel like the biggest threat they have to me is that captain, and I want it dead. I don't know if we survive this or not, though. I don't think we do. I mean, I've taken more damage than this before. And the little minister buddy is trying hard to keep us alive, which I appreciate. And that's what I appreciate about Minister. Dang, never, dang it, Bobby. I just got stable in everything. And now you're going to do me like that. I'm just trying to get stable over here. This is going to be close. If I swing here, we gain four going to 12, and then they hit me for six, seven. Then we get some chump blockers, and that's our plan. I think it's a good plan. Well, I mean, I also think it's the only real plan we have is we just need to stay alive is the goal. I think I'm game with this. Two chump walkers. Well, they do have trample. Like, that's something to worry about. Is holding it back gain more life now? Because it might. If I swing, I know we're gaining four. And then what would my blocks be? Block here and take the damage. Not insane. Yes, ministers of sorcery speed.
I think they wanted to make sure you were playing the minister in decks that are attacking, but I mean, welcome to Modern Limited. All of the decks are attacking. That's eight, nine. Hope they don't have a sure strike. Oh, come on. Really? Oof level is high. That was a mad race to stabilization as we flooded out. All right, let's think about Sanctify. Uh, they've now shown us a Forsaken Thresher as well as a Gift of Fangs. Can we work a Sanctify in here? It still doesn't feel like enough, does it? We tried hard, we got far. In the end, we're grumpy old men. Yeah, I didn't see anything that made me want to do anything other than be better at blocking. There's some targets for something like in the festivities, but not a ton. It feels weird to look through this and be like, I don't see anything I want to change. This thing's pretty bloody good at blocking. Oh yeah, I, I think we just run this back. I'm hungry like the Ridge Wolf. Is a good sign, yes. They're not going to get our goose that way. Thanks for the fangs. I hate it. Still lacerated next turn. If we want to, which I probably do.
I don't want him to untap with a 5-5. Five, five. about that either. Or that, neat. I like this plan. Do they have anything to get back that I care about? Sort of. We're going to go with this because it'll kill him next turn. A couple different ways. I can't think of a one man answer to that. And neither can they. Huzzah. Have a good one, my dude. Right. I don't think I care for the one lander on the play. I don't even think I could keep that one on the draw. This I can do something with. So I think the plan is probably to assume that we're going to flood out a little bit. Uh, but at least having a pair of twos isn't that bad. I think this is also the most ag aggressive thing we could do with this hand. It's planned to, you know, hit two, two, four, and then just try to aggro somebody out on the play. That could work. It's going to require drawing a bunch of lands, but... If they try to block it or kill it, I can also turn this into another 3-1, which is pretty neat. Two lands in a row, not a bad draw. There's one of them. Never been so interested in hitting another land. Isn't that funny?
I have to let that trade happen. Shame, but it is what it is. If I have the opportunity to lacerate that, I will. Come lacerated, my friend. seems out of place. We can dance if we want to. We can leave Epicure behind. As if they don't dance and if they won't dance, well, they're no Epicure of mine. I just wonder, if this is the Epicure, how bad was the Epicickness? First thing about having a baby is to get your dad jokes in position, right, Mystical? Oh. How old are they, Mystical? Oh. Sorry, I don't do sarcasm well. But I do now see, as after Rachel has pointed it out, that you were being sarcastic. 12, 11, 9, 7, 5, and 2. Good grief! That's a lot of babies! Yeah, I guess you're aware that that's a lot of babies. Six kids, you only need to be 18% funny to get a laugh. I see your point. So I can do sarcasm well, I just can't detect sarcasm well. That's actually the way to say it, better Scott. Fathered a basketball team with a reserve. <laughs> Guys are kind of nuts. And gals. It is, Socks. It is. That's that's a fair point. All right. So it looked like they were just kind of trying to kill us with creatures. I'm not... I, I guess they're green, blue, green, red splashing for Aerith, which makes a little more sense, because I was wondering why the hell you would put this in a, 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 a deck, a three-color deck, but it's not really a three-color deck. It's a green-red deck splashing for her. We didn't really see any graveyard interactions, so the lantern isn't really on our list. They do have some large creatures, but as long as we save our unconditional removal for those, which is basically these two and the uh, retribution, we ought to be okay. There weren't really a lot of targets for the uh, bolt, right? 
Like, there's some world where we're supposed to take Flame Blast Bolt out of here. I didn't see their whole deck, so I don't know for sure. Got a massive might and a wolf strike. Yeah, I think I like where we are. Let's keep our eyes open for things that, like reasons to take out that flame blessed bolt in the next round. If we don't just win here, I'd rather just win here, but if we don't, Fair, I wouldn't mind grabbing, like drawing, roaring one there. The way British people say drawing always sounds silly to me. They are going to get a hell of a lot of cards off of that before I can contain it. Oh, the challenge here is which one's more terrifying. Like, I can't win a game where they're sitting here drawing two cards a turn. But I, I can't beat either of these cards is the challenge for me. But I'm certainly not beating them drawing two cards a turn. Like, that's just not happening. Not that it's really gotten much better. Anything. Yeah, I'm way less interested in the Flame B Blessed Bolt now. <laughs> Renan, thank you very much. Go spam some cats for Renan. Thank you, my friend. I hope you have a happy holiday as well. We're going to die pretty painfully to this thing. Button messing sounds bad for your health. I would think so. I would encourage you guys and gals not to button meth. Very slim chance we survived this, but I'm trying. Oh, really? That's disappointing. I was actually thinking about streaming some this afternoon. Thank you for the warning, Tegna Shaman. Yeah, I'm no longer thinking that flashing this back is good enough. Storybook Brawl. It's a really fun game. You do enough. Like, not really, but kind of. This is awkward. I don't like it. 
Because I feel like I need to keep the minister alive to, to keep pace with what they're doing. So I think the actual call here is to chump block, bring back the drog skull infantry, and see if we can do something like that. That's not going to matter. It's just too much crap. One life a turn isn't going to do anything about that. It's a lot of fun, Mystical. If, have you ever played Hearthstone's Battlegrounds? You're just super dead, right? Yeah, we're super dead. Okay, it's very similar to that. How about Team Fight Tactics? Or Dota Underlords? There's not any blocks here that save me, right? Yeah, there's just not. You're super dead. dead. I was trying to craft a way out of that. Now, we've played through their deck a couple times, and I haven't seen that much stuff for us to get with the uh, burn spell other than these two Ridge Wolves. But I guess I do want to answer those two Ridge Wolves. Like, I'm nervous about bringing in Sanctify because they can just flip the damn thing. I'm not sure what the answer to all of this nonsense is. I mean, it may be play the same deck and try hope for a better draw, which is, I mean, always a thing you can do, but... The Minister was a bad top deck. We're kind of not surprised about that. Bolt should do three if you have multiple blood tokens. What are you talking about? Oh, the Flame Bless Bolt. I get it. I thought you were explaining to me that the card worked different than I thought it did. And I was like, what? what? I think we just had a bad draw. I've even got good card draw in this deck. I hope that's all it was. Looks better. a decent amount like a uh, one mana two one like it's getting you a two point life swing as long as you have an attack wouldn't mind another land here to the surprise of no one that is not another land I don't care for that Fast enough. Well, there you go. I'm glad I kept the Flame Blessed Bolt in. I was thinking about taking it out. And then I didn't. And it was good. It was very good. Yes, we are currently 2-0 with red-white. I like it. Let's see if we can get the 3-0 with red-white. I underrated that minister a little bit. 
if I'm happy with it in red, white, and black, white, and green, white, then this card's just fine. I still think people take it too early. I mentioned that when I was drafting this one, Andy. I like that quite a bit too. Got plus three plus three. All right. I believe you have something. And I'll attack next turn with rending flame up. Yeah, give me. I'm fishing for a two for one. You don't have a two. I don't understand why. I'm still pretty convinced they have plus three, plus three, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, I should have done that. I for kind of forgot it was an instant. I'm pretty sure they have the uh, spider card. Like, they kind of have to, right? They've got something. They don't want to tell me what it is, but that's fine. But yeah, I should have done that. I think that would have been better to have him play than the wolf. Good catch, Techno Shaman. threaten to gang block it, but I don't think that's the right call. Alrighty then. I wouldn't mind drawing a removal spell for that. That'd be alright. But 
But they just literally didn't have a trick when they attacked with this and didn't use the mana. I, I don't understand what that is. A mistake? Sure, I've made mistakes. They were really selling me on they had a, 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 a combat trick of some kind. Specifically the untapped one, because I, I don't know. Maybe I just got a little too stuck on that. This one almost seems like we'd be happy to play the other um, bolt, right? Like the white flame blessed bolt. I'm like, I don't really need the mid game. It's about stabilization and then win. So I'm going to bring in another kill spell and take this out for spin. I like the flame breather. There were some two twos to block. Not a ton of them, but enough of them. Essentially get a little bit of a mana advantage by letting them fire off a two drop, we kill the two drop, etc. Well, they didn't even have one. I mean, it can certainly happen. Vanguard can certainly happen. I'm going to try to Piercing Light this one to get value off of it. This is kind of a stupid scry. I, I forgot that this scryed and needed to do it first, but I guess I don't want to draw that. And since I know I don't want to draw it, I can go ahead and draw another card before I pop my Evolving Wilds. I'm not worried about either of those. I thought they'd already done it. I assumed they already had. You got a combat trick, have you? Two for ones, winning matches of magic in the year of our Lord 2021. Do not be afraid of red white. It's a deck. Actually a deck. And it will win you Merfolk Falconeers. What do you think we can all agree we need more Merfolk Falconeers? And a big thank you to my patrons. Paul, Punk, Adrian, Hero, Joe, Jesse, Jacob, Scott, Fasty, Rich, Michael, and Brandon. Thank you all very much. Hope you've all enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.